In this clip, we're going to be talking about keyframes and animations. In order to make an animation in After Effects, we need to use keyframes. And in order to demonstrate that, what I've done is I created a new composition. I've also brought in two layers and I changed some of the properties like the scale and the position. Okay, so what are keyframes and how can we work with them? Again, keyframes contain information. It can be information regarding most properties on a layer. If we go to our layer properties, hitting this little arrow on the layer itself, we get a drop down menu and we see the basic transform properties or what are the properties available right now. I'm going to open my layer switches panel so I can see the information of that property. If I select my airplane layer and I start moving it around, you'll see again that my position properties or values start to change. In order to make an animation, I need to tell After Effects that I want this airplane to move from the right to the left. So how can I do that? Well, I'm going to position the airplane where I want it to be on frame one. And in order to access the keyframes, we have to left click one of these stopwatches on any of these layer properties. As long as this stopwatch is available, the property will have keyframe options. So for now, I'm going to use the position property and I'm going to left click on the stopwatch and you will see that in my timeline, a new small blue dot has appeared. And that is a keyframe. So pretty much this keyframe contains this value at this point of time. I'm going to go to the end of my composition and now I'm going to move the airplane up and slightly to the left. You can see that the screen or the airplane itself has left this sort of trace on it. So pretty much uh, this trace indicates that there is a movement of that layer and that is the path that is using. So if I start scrubbing through my timeline, you'll see that the layer will move. If I hit my spacebar, You will see we have an animation now. Okay, so now that we've added some keyframes, in After Effects we have another option named the Auto Keyframe Mode. We can access that by going to the Timeline menu, and here you'll see the Enable Auto Keyframe. If I left click that, a new icon appears on our preview panel as well, and it's a small stopwatch. So what this will do is if I select my sky and let's say I move it around and then I go to my layer properties and I go to the transform option and now my position option will have a keyframe without me having to come down and left clicking the stopwatch. So that option is available if needed. For now I'm going to hit control Z to undo that and I'm going to turn off the enable auto keyframe option. You will see that the stopwatch now disappears again. Okay, so once we've added some keyframes to our animations, and if at some point we end up with a bunch of keyframes, like this, this is just to demonstrate this, but if we end up with a bunch of keyframes and we want the cursor to move to a specific keyframe, we have two options. We can either hold shift and drag, and our cursor will somewhat snap to that keyframe. Now another option is to use this little left arrow on the left side of the keyframe icon on the property itself. So if I hit this little left arrow, it will move to the next keyframe and so on and to the other side. Okay, so if you like me want to delete some keyframes that you don't like, like in this case, you can simply select the keyframe and hit the delete button. You can also select multiple keyframes and delete. And now we went to our original animation. If you want to delete all your keyframes from a specific value, all you have to do is left click the stopwatch one more time and all the keyframes will disappear on that value. For now, I'm going to hit control C to undo that. I want to keep those keyframes for now. So other than adding and deleting keyframes, we have the option to move them. So for example, if I like the position where this airplane is at this point, 
but I want this to happen sooner, I can simply go to wherever point of time I want it to happen and I can select the keyframe and I can move that keyframe to that point. And now my animation will happen sooner. Okay, so now you see that you're able to add as many keyframes that you like. You can also delete the keyframes and move them around. Okay, so these are the basics of keyframes and animations in After Effects. Go ahead and play with these settings around and get used to them. I'll see you in the next clip.